St. John's County Sheriff promises that no stone will be left unturned as his office investigates Tristan Bailey's murder. The 13-year-old was found dead on Sunday night after she was reported missing earlier. Uh, now, investigators have revealed that she was stabbed. 14-year-old Aiden Fucci is charged with second-degree murder in connection with her death. He was in court yesterday morning. He watched it live here in the 8 o'clock hour of the morning show. As he faced the judge, he, he appeared to, to hold back tears. This for Jack's reporter Jennifer Reddy joins us live. And Jennifer, the sheriff's office says this has been a very difficult case, even for investigators. Good morning, it has, and it has been an incredibly difficult week for this entire community. If you take a look here at this memorial, it continues to grow day after day. There are bouquets of flowers, candles, and a picture of Tristan Bailey in the center. For roughly two decades, Director Howard Cole has been investigating homicides. In my 20 years of investigating homicides, this is probably uh, one of the most tragic and uh, and difficult cases that we have faced. Director Cole is overseeing the Tristan Bailey case alongside dozens of other detectives. He sat down with News for Jack's I team reporter Vic Michelucci. How good is the case right now? I would say uh, based on my experience, which is quite extensive, uh, I am very confident. Tristan Bailey was reported missing by her family on Sunday morning. Hours later, her body was found in a wooded area near her neighborhood. The medical examiner says she was stabbed to death. 14-year-old Aiden Fucci was arrested and charged with second-degree murder in Bailey's death. St. John's County Sheriff Rob Hardwick is calling this a cold-blooded murder and says Fucci is the only suspect in the case. But as we speak right now, I can just tell you that the man is a cold-blooded killer. And I didn't say a man, he's a, he's a child, but he's, he committed a man's crime. And with that being said, of course, I, I just feel like um, he's being held responsible for the crime he committed. So again, we'll build that case with school records. A lot of this stuff, of course, will come through court orders, search warrants, and uh, talking to people that know our suspect well. The sheriff says his office will leave no stone unturned. And this investigation is ongoing. The director says they will not stop until this case is fully resolved. Jennifer Reddy, Channel 4, The Local Station.